With police departments across the country under pressure to make dramatic reforms, the NOPD is making itself out as an example for the rest of the country. And while some protesters are demanding to defund the police, Mayor Cantrell pressed for one dramatic way to add more money to the NOPD's budget. Investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein explains. While much of the country is pushing for sweeping changes in law enforcement, New Orleans leaders say that seven years under a federal consent decree has made the NOPD a reform leader. And I asked the city of New Orleans to stick your chest out because you have a department that has been leading the way. But that consent decree has come with a steep price tag. And Mayor Cantrell said Thursday that the time has come to wrap it up. That we have moved very closely to satisfying that consent decree that comes with some mandates even in and of, you know, in and of itself. We spent over 55 million, if you want to call it what it is. Get the bear out of our pocket and allow us to meet the needs of our people. The mayor's call for relief comes just as federal monitors are expected to release an audit on NOPD task forces. Those proactive units that were disbanded last month after body camera footage revealed a questionable conversation among cops about how to justify an arrest. Superintendent Sean Ferguson said he's open to keeping them disbanded. Should we continue to have a task force or should we look at another way of policing? But make no mistake, the mayor feels it is time to cut the cord. Now is the time. Set the goal, the end of the line, we're going to meet that. Cantrell's plan for the money that would be saved, make the police department even more responsive and accountable. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News. Now the annual cost of that consent decree has been just over $7 million a year. Ending it would require a court petition by the city and approval from a federal judge.